you go about writing your songs? A lot of times I'll write melody and lyric at the same time, but on my new EP and, and a lot of my new music, I'm actually writing more in a studio setting. In the studio I can write it, record it, mix it, and it'll be done in one session, as opposed to just having an acoustic demo that I sit on for months and my perspective can, can kind of get lost on it. Can't control, can't it. What's it been like working without a label? It's been uh, refreshing and, and exciting. It's more work, for sure, but for me to have the full control and, and have the, the whole team understand uniformly what the vision, what my vision is for it, the kind of things that I'm interested in, in doing and how I want to portray myself, which is now it's just portraying myself as me. No BS, don't, you know, you know, which, which, uh, you know. With the band, you're always kind of dealing with differing viewpoints of how you should be portrayed. And for me, I was kind of sick of talking about how, what it should be, and I'm just going to be myself. I relied too heavily on on other people and less on my own vision. So I guess being being on my own has 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 really helped me hone in on what exactly I want and um, has made me, you know, really thirst after getting it right and making it quality and not, you know, half assing anything. Instead of a full record, I'm doing three EPs over the course of the rest of the year so that at the end of the year you'll have 12 songs to put together and that's the full story. I mean, they're meant to, one EP's meant to pick up where the last one left off. When the third EP comes out, I plan on bringing a full band out, a bunch of my friends that we're all gonna play together. And um, personally, I feel like that's a really exciting way to listen to music. You can really focus on those four songs and then by the time that you're totally sick and tired of it, there's new music. You used to have a solo project, Remember Maine, when you were 17. How is it different doing your solo career now than it was back then? I guess that the main differences are that I know a lot more about the business and, and about uh, what it takes. I don't suck at singing as much as I did then. <laughs> You've talked about how you worked with Andrew McMahon on songs and stuff. Do you think you'll be doing any co-writes for your solo career? Yeah, um, for sure. I mean, I, um, I love working with him, I love working with friends, but it's really all predicated upon not trying to force things, not trying to write a, like a smash for top 40 song, because I found whenever I tried to write a hit song, it turned out like middle of the road, it turned out boring and soulless, you know? Mm -hmm. But when you let it happen naturally, that's when the, the exciting things start to happen. And um, in working with people who feel the same way about the writing environment, you can really get really fantastic stuff. Will you be working on the fall of the House of Usher anytime soon? My friend uh, Nathan Rand, who's um, written the screenplay or adapted the screenplay and is going to direct. Our, our plan t to do it um, is absolutely still intact. It's just that the last thing I want to do is half-ass something yeah. like that. I mean, it's a, it's, it's quite an undertaking for um, my first, uh, you know, acting gigs. So, so, uh, so perhaps I'll, I'll, I'll try something else first and yeah. and ease my way into it.